A lot of love for David Letterman. It's the big tribute special, David Letterman, A Life on Television. You'll see lots of classic late show moments like who can forget stupid pet tricks yeah. um, and some of the all-time best star entrances, Ben Stiller naked, Bill Murray is Liberace, and of course, this man right here, Paul Schaefer, Dave's musical director who sat down with Melissa Rivers for a special conversation. You have lovely, uh, lovely well-shaped, uh, muscular, lengthy, <laughs> lovely legs. All right. Yeah, let me see. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. It a vision. Feel so oh, good. my God. I bet you feel good wherever you go. Though, don't you? Dave was a notorious flirt on the show with some of his guests. What guests did he flirt with the most? Oh, uh, well, we can all remember, of course, uh, his relationship with uh, Ju uh, uh, Julia Roberts, mm -hmm. uh, and she flirted right back. Well, we can finish up uh, upstairs. <laughs> Who flirted with you the most? Oh, uh, you know, the first time Barbara Walters came out, she gave me a big kiss. Really? We always thought she was hot for Dave. Yeah, I know, but I, she it, came to me you. that time. Her very first appearance may have been her first appearance on the show. I don't know. I never. She never spoke to me after that. No. <laughs> One of Melissa's favorite Letterman moments included her mom, Joan, and a stunt she pulled that caught Dave off guard. And I have Edgar in here. Hey, what do you mean you have? This is your late husband? Yeah. He, what do you mean he's in there? I have his little ashes, a little bit of the ashes. I think my mother also did things intentionally just to make Dave laugh or make him uncomfortable. Like when she put a handful of my father's ashes uh, on his desk. She was uh, money in the bank when she would come on this show. Are you paying attention? Yes, I am. You know, in addition to standing by, you have to pay attention. You have attention. to do both of those. All right. Our first visit to the Letterman set was 32 years ago when both Paul and Dave were at NBC and still kind of new to audiences. I am the Ed McMahon of the 80s, and uh, that's how I want to be remembered. How did you find out that Dave was making the decision to retire? It was pretty much, hey, by the way, uh, we were going on on a Monday, and I'm just about to go up, and he says, I need to speak to you. <laughs> Come around the corner. And we're in the wings, and the, you know, the band is playing. Dun, 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 dun. And he says, um, I, I, I spoke to uh, the higher-ups today and I told them that I was going to retire. Really? It's been great. You've been great. The network has been great. But I'm retiring. And that's how, uh, how I found out. I only knew a couple of days in advance of uh, America finding out. What is the legacy of the show? That freedom that Dave brought to comedy, that nuttiness that he brought to the talk show, I see it in all the other shows. I think that's got to be the legacy. You know what, when you have the conversation about the greatest of all time or the trendsetters of late night, you know, Johnny Carson, Steve Allen, and I say Arsenio Hall because he changed the way people looked Absolutely. at it. You know what, David needs to be in that conversation. Oh, no, no doubt about that.